really is the Carl Eleanor College of Medicine. It's the first college focused really expressively from the start on the convergence and integration of engineering, technology, innovation, big data, humanistic thinking, and healthcare. And we truly believe that the future of healthcare lies at the intersection of engineering and medicine. And you'll see multiple examples about just how that's happening and how these innovations that are derived from the student and patient encounters um, are really providing opportunities to advance health and healthcare. My idea project uh, is inventing an oral cavity smoke evacuator. It doesn't sound super fancy, but you know, surgeries in the oral cavity and in the OR are really important. Uh, you can imagine there's not a lot of room to operate when you're operating inside of mouth. And additionally, the fact that you're generating smoke, which we do when we, uh, we burn tissues when we operate, um, that smoke's actually really hazardous, uh, not just to the patient, but to the OR staff. Some people have said that uh, oh, OR smoke for one surgery is worse than two packs of cigarettes. And you can imagine you do that over and over and over again. It can be really dangerous. So we're trying to invent a way to more effectively evacuate the smoke and make it safer for the patient and the surgeon. I had a really simple solution. I think we should take um, and modify the mouth retractors that are already being used in the mouth to keep the mouth open and integrate uh, suction or vacuum capabilities within that. Uh, it's a, here's a picture of one of the mouth retractors. Here's kind of different sizes for different uh, sizes of patients. Really simple tool, keeps the mouth open. My idea is on the CPAP mask. A CPAP mask is used for uh, people with sleep apnea or if they have chronic snoring. Um, when that happens, you uh, can't you will wake up and not be able to breathe so then it's important to have your airway open so the idea it's it's a CPAP mask it's a mask it has fans and there's a washing port such that you can run it through your hose and it will just clean it wh while it runs and here's a, also a UV sanitizing case so the hope, hope is that this will go th um, magnetically attach um, and be able to turn on and control how much pressure would go in. So this is a bionic knee for muscular spasticity. So what my idea is, is I want to figure out a way to improve mobility in patients who have cerebral palsy. With cerebral palsy, we kind of just use the same technology. We, we do the same thing. We just give them wheelchairs and motorized wheelchairs and sometimes some braces and stuff. So what my idea is, is what if we could create a motorized version of one of these braces rather than make it so it's just holding their joints in place? What if it, do, it does that and also helps them as they move? Something that has biofeedback. So what I want to do is to combine um, EMGs with this and use those to detect when are these people trying to walk? When are, when are these children trying to walk? If they are trying to walk, turn on the device, help them move, give them that motorized assistance so they can overcome that stiffness, that rigidity, that, that tension that they always have in their muscles, make it so it's easier for them to walk. I think as we come to a close here, uh, again, I want to thank all our student presenters. I think you did a phenomenal job. I, I think your ideas, you know, are brilliant. They were, you know, came from your experiences. And I think they all kind of tap into needs that, you know, that people widely face. Uh, I also want